All right, we're going to talk about reinforcing edges on an object. Um, when I select this polygon right here, a cube, and I hit one, as you can see, nothing happens, right? My object is on hard edge mode. If I hit two, I can see the wireframe of the hard edge and the smooth preview. And if I hit three, I can see the smooth preview of the cube. Let me go back to one, two, and three. Okay, so if we want to reinforce the edges at level one, so when we hit three for the smooth preview, and we want to prevent our edges from collapsing into this sphere, what we need to do is we need to reinforce these edges right here. The way that we do that is that if we right mouse button on our object and select edges, as we talked on the marking menus tutorial right i can select my edges i can also select my vertexes and i can select my faces right in this case what we want to do is we want to work on the edges so i will go to edges it doesn't matter what edge you select you select one of the edges let me move this to the side so you can see it better i'm going to go to shift right mouse button anywhere on the object it doesn't have to be on the edge and you will get the tools for this specific component mode which is edges okay so let's go to edges select one of the edges shift right mouse button and we are going to go to this tool right here it's called the insert edge loop tool okay if i click on one of these edges it doesn't have to be this edge that is highlighted. It can be any of these edges. And I click and I drag, you will see this dotted green line. Okay, green means active. So while holding my mouse down, I can move this up and down. If I move it right to the edge, all right, and I do the same thing on the other edges, right? and I go right mouse button to object mode and hit Q for the select tool. I will select this object and again I'm gonna hit one, nothing happens. Two, now you can see the number one level wireframe and a preview of the smooth version of our cube. And if I hit three, here's the smooth version of the cube. You will notice that only the edges that were reinforced are sharp. Everything else, as you can see, is smooth like on the early cube. All right, so again, let me move to the side and let me go to one. And if I rotate around this object, and go to the bottom corner and reinforce these edges right here, right? I have the opposite side reinforce. So again, right mouse button, edge. All right, I have not select any edges, but I'm in the edge component mode. I'm gonna shift right mouse button and I'm gonna go back to that insert edge loop tool. This is one way of doing it. But as you guys saw on our last action and last command tutorial I can hit Y and it will give me the last action that I use which was the insert edge loop tool and I can click and reinforce these edges right here click reinforce this corner click and reinforce this corner and I'm gonna go to object mode right mouse button object mode Q for the selection tool and I'm gonna hit F to center the cube, I am going to hide the grid. And as you can see now, let me put wireframe on shaded. So we can see the wireframe without having to select our cube. And now when I hit one, right, we get the hard edge version. Two, hard edge wireframe with a smooth preview. And then three, here's a smooth preview. All right, disregard these dark edges. This has to do with my video card. But as you can see, my cubes 
edges have been hardened. Now, if I go to one, one thing that I want you to notice is that this cube right here has the edges reinforced. Well, if we add more edges on the corners, our edges will become sharper and sharper. So for example, if I zoom in to this corner right here, and I right mouse button edges, right, and shift right mouse button insert edge loop tool, I can add sharper edges right here on this corner. Okay, I'm going to hit F and I'm going to go to the opposite corner and zoom in. And I'm going to reinforce that corner right there. And right mouse button object mode, Q for selection tool, select the cube, hit F to frame it. All right, and look what happens when I hit three. All right, let me get out of wireframe on shaded so you can see how much sharper it is right now. Okay, because if I hit one, you will notice that I have one row of reinforcement followed by another row of reinforcement. There is no need to put edge loops right here because our corners are sharp and this is how we support the edges in Maya.